So my story is a true story, and it is about my first Christmas in Berkeley, California. And it is a story of eggnog and hippies and why I came to hate Ben Stiller. <laughs> true story. Um, so this was, I was like 20 years old. Uh, I'd been dating my girlfriend at the time, Esther, um, for about six months. I didn't know yet that she was like the one, um, but I was thinking about it. I was like, she might be the one, whatever that means. And she invited me out here to Berkeley. Um, we were in college in the cold, cold tundra of Madison, Wisconsin. She invited me out here to Berkeley for winter break. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm like, fuck the snow. And I'm from the East Coast, I'm like, I'm not going East, I'm coming West. I'm going with my new, like, badass girlfriend. Like, California, it's sunny all the time, right? And <laughs> so, I'm coming. Um, but it's my first time, like, really out here. I've been here with, as a kid, visiting my uncle. Um, but it's my first time really out here as a semi-grown man. And uh, it's my first time, it's my first time. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> Y'all are cool. And it's my first time, this is the point of the fucking story. It's my first time that I'm gonna meet her family. Meet the folks, right? And um, I'm nervous as fuck. And, uh, but we come out here and we meet, you know, we go up to the Berkeley Hills, we come, we meet her parents, and they're super nice. They're super chill. Um, and her mom, uh, Janice, is like super down to earth. Just like super, she's earthy. She's super earthy. Like, very much about the earth. It's so <laughs> very, like, into feelings and energy. And like, the feelings of your energy. And, like, <laughs> sense for who they are. Her dad, uh, you feeling it? Her dad, John, um, is like this big teddy bear guy. Um, he's got like this big white beard and this long white hair. Uh, so when I see him, when I meet him for the first time, I'm like, Santa! And he's like, no, 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 no. Jerry Garcia. <laughs> And I, I'm like, who? And he's like, you don't know Jerry Garcia? The dead Jerry Garcia? And I'm like, oh, of course I know Jerry Garcia. I thought you said ice cream Jerry Garcia. Jerry, I know Jerry Garcia. <laughs> And that was the first time I ever lied to my girlfriend's butt. <laughs> 30 seconds in. It was a great start. Um, so, but we're, they're great. I'm loving them. They seem to not hate me too much so far. Um, and, uh, but they're still like feeling me out. You know, I can tell. They're still like, they're like, is he, this is our daughter, this is our only daughter. You know, especially her dad. You know, he's, he's like, that dad with a beard. <laughs> so, but they're chill. And so it's Christmas Eve, and after dinner, um, dinner went great, it was super nice. Um, my first ever Christmas Eve dinner, it's really nice. And uh, after dinner, we go to the movies. Um, I'm Jewish, so usually I go to the movies on Christmas Day, <laughs> but I guess that's the Christian tradition on Christmas Eve. <laughs> uh, and, um, And so we go to the movies, and they're like, so, you know, they ask me and ask her, well, what would you kids like to see? And I'm like, I her dad, I'm like, oh, whatever you, whatever you want, sir. I keep calling him sir. I've never called anyone sir in my whole life. And he's Jerry Garcia, so he's like, don't call me sir. And I'm like, whatever you want, sir, which was the wrong answer, because he chooses for us to go see 
Meet the Parents, <laughs> which had just just come out. And I'm like, oh yeah, I love Robert De Niro, but I fucking hate Ben Stiller. And this movie was why? Because y'all y'all seen Meet the Parents? So you already know where this. Oh, some people haven't seen it, so let me break. So Meet the Parents is basically this nice, like blonde, all-American girl. Um, who is going home and she brings her neurotic Jewish boyfriend <laughs> <laughs> in the movie played by Ben Stiller in real life um, home to meet her parents who are these like ultra kind of wasp uh, folks no offense to anyone here um, <laughs> The dad's Robert De Niro, and he's just fucking crazy. He's just, he's nuts. So anytime anything happens, everything that, you know, if you've seen it, I hate these movies, everything that can go wrong for this schmuck goes wrong. <laughs> and when it does, and I'm, so I'm sitting here, I'm in the movie theater, um, and I've got mom on the left and dad on the right. <laughs> and I look over at Esther, and I'm like, do you want to switch seats? <laughs> and she's like, nah, I'm good. Because I think she's in on it and like fucking with me. Um, she's, like, she's like, are you down? Am I the one? Are you the one? What's good? And, uh, <laughs> and so anytime anything happens to Ben Stiller, like he paints the cat or he gives someone a black eye or whatever, and then everything's fucked up, um, her parents sitting right next to me are cracking up. They think it's the funniest thing they've ever seen in their life. This poor Jewish boyfriend comes home and everything goes wrong. And I've never seen anyone laugh so hard in my life. And it's not even that funny. Like the gags are predictable, everything. They're just cracking up. I'm sitting here, of course, fucking sweating through the seat. <laughs> Had seven heart attacks already. They're just laughing. Her dad, her dad's like, every time something happens, he's like, he's not just laughing, he's like nudging me. He's like, did you see that? Did you see that? Which, by which he means like, look Ben Stiller, talking to me. <laughs> we already know, you know, I know that you're not good enough for my daughter, so back off. And then I'm over here and I'm like, yeah, I saw it. I saw it. By uh, which I mean, <laughs> fuck you, De Niro. <laughs> and this is the whole movie. And it's the worst two hours of my life. Um, but then, finally, eventually, the movie ends. The, everyone makes up and gets married and whatever. And uh, everyone's happy in the movie. You haven't seen it? It's, it works out. They made a sequel, and now the third one just came out. I'm not going to see it. Um, <laughs> and the lights come up, and then I, I guess we're all back to the normal. And he's like, so, uh, he's like, that was a pretty good movie. Right? What do you think? And I'm like, oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> that was really, that was, so this was the second time I lied to him already <laughs> in our relationship. So this is, uh, this is my first Christmas with her family. Um, first one of many, it's turned out. Um, but I was loving it. I, I loved it. It was like, like this was my first for real Christmas. Like I didn't grow up with Christmas, like, you know. So I was like, I'm in it. This is, everything was so new to me. It was, it was so exotic. <laughs> I was like, look, look at this, the angle of this. Homer Simpson ornament <laughs> on the Christmas tree. It's so interesting. <laughs> it must have something to do with Jesus. <laughs> like, I felt like an anthropologist, like in a foreign land. Like, I felt about Christmas like how Christians feel about everyone else. <laughs> It was awesome.